Hey, what's up, fam? Radiance has continued down its, in the anime, its own pathway. So, like I said, I'm not really going to go into manga stuff because at this point, I'm, I'm just going to be noting things. The reviews will just be things that are different than the manga and the anime, which really all I can, all I can really say is if you enjoy the anime, read the manga. And if you, but also if you, if you kind of like the anime, but not really, and you kind of want it to be a little bit more serious and, and a little bit more, uh, uh, a, a little bit different tone, like a little bit more heavier tone. Read the manga. They're both. I enjoy both. I think they're both fine in my eyes. The the anime seems to be a little bit lighter on tone, but we haven't got to really any of these serious stuff yet. And I I, I heard that they might have been trying to make things a little bit nicer, but I don't know how you could really accomplish that with the fact that uh, they already showed like people trying to burn uh, Seth on a on a on a, like at a pike and just and he was like seven or something or some like little kid and they were gonna set him on fire jeez anyway the, the episode itself was more about how after meeting yaga he wants seth to at least be able to use basic levels of uh of fantasia abilities like attacks because he's like you want to go find that radiant and you can't even do basic stuff even though it's like his Titan's Punch isn't really... It's not really a spell. All he's doing is gathering Fantasia in his fist and punching him. And and you see, actually, in this episode, once he rips his glove, uh, that he he's able to use Meteor Drops a lot better. And obviously, the reason that... I, I don't think he understands that the, the gloves are actually hampering his ability. They're making it harder for him to be able to cast any spells. And once he gets those off, I think it's going to run a lot better. But the thing about this episode I cared more about was just Melly's character. Even though the the anime is being very different, I, I still like how she feels pretty much, I'd say like 90% the same as the the manga Melly. And I, I appreciate what they're, what they're doing there. She just seems very delightful. She's like a fun character. And I like that her, you know, she was trying to be helpful even though she couldn't really be helpful in... We ended up getting it switched to the crazier side of Melly, and that just uh, that just adds a, a, a little bit more of a fun element when uh, the the crazier side is trying to teach stuff to Seth. Also, Doc is being made into honestly, I think he's more of a comedic character in the anime. He's getting goofed on a lot. Poor dude, he's constantly ending up uh, constantly just ending up the butt. All these jokes, getting wrecked, getting team rocket into the sky twice actually in this episode i like the i don't really care about the second time but the first time when the you know appear in the sky and he's like i'll be back i thought that was pretty funny pretty amusing and uh i'm wondering how far they're gonna take some of the, the jokes of this character like he already got like the basic stuff he's trying to hit on this chick that he's he's into at this uh cafe and her puppet handed dad is just like talking shit and he's so he's getting he's getting dunked on by a, a puppet regardless if it's like he's like magically put into it he's still getting clowned on by this dude pretty embarrassing yeah for me poor dude any for a very unfortunate stutter in there for a second but the next couple episodes should be pretty good it looks like they're gonna be finally getting into the the deeper bits of the lore and deeper bits of the of the, of the first arc. They're going to have to go through a little bit of training with Seth at Yaga. But after that, I think the anime is going to really pick up. Obviously, they're still in in the introductory period. You always got to note that when you get into a series. Especially stuff like this where it's, they intend to go for a while. Is Early on, it's mostly just them kind of trying to get you used to how the world works. And like the people in it that's going to be the cast. And that's what we're mostly getting right now. We're mostly getting like... Bits about Seth and and Melly and finding about Fantasia and, and all the basics. So it, it's really when it gets to the first arc, I think it's really going to pick up. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think how they handle the the first arc will really uh, really play heavily on if Radiant you know gains more notice. So I've I've talked to I talked to a handful of people that are like only a few people I know have picked it up. Some people are kind of interested, but aren't really right now. And even the people that I've picked it up are, are enjoying it, but it's not like it's not like big on their list right now. It's just entertaining and enjoyable. But I'm I'm hoping the the first arc will really increase that. 
So tell me in the comments if you've been enjoying Radiant. If you like it, do you read the manga at all or just watch the anime? Or do you read the manga and haven't watched the anime and think about starting? Got any questions? Tell me what you like about the anime. If so, in the comments below as well. And thumbs up the video. Like it if you enjoy this kind of content. You enjoy all the manga and anime stuff that I do on my channel. And hopefully I can get you to subscribe and uh, return for more videos. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening.